Good morning, you beautiful people. If you ask, because I posted a few days ago a photo of this nice 2D target from Boga Archery. I got this as a gift when we were there. I was driving with some friends there and it was a surprise visit. And then they gave me this one because they are nice and because I am nice. So, But now people ask I should do a review of this. It's a bit windy today, so I need to be careful that my camera doesn't blow over again. What can I tell you? This is a 2D squirrel colored. You can get it on the website. It's 42 by 60 by 17. You can have it in 22 centimeters thickness too. Then it costs 20 euros more. It's out of polyform. I like all the targets from uh, Bogar. And it's... It's 59, I think, euros. I didn't write it now. I think it's 60 euros. And shipping Poland, Austria and Germany is 10 euros and the rest of Europe is 15. It's 14.90, but I say 15. This is what you get. It looks quite cute. It's really almost too cute to shoot it. But of course you ask for a review. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> I have to shoot my query now. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would make sense to make the this one on the other side too. Depends on which bow you shoot because most probably don't penetrate it all the way. So if the center here would be then a bit damaged that you could turn it around or at least you let the squirrel look in the other direction. One thing of course the squirrel is not very steady on the ground so if you use it you might want to anchor it some sort of in the ground because it will fall over tip over even by the wind very quickly. We start again with the uh, children longbow, I call it the Adam bow. Oh, kill, see? And then it sits up because it begs for mercy, but we finish it with a miss, with a headshot. Boom. That was with 22 pounds. Let's shoot it with the Imperial Keshik and the Destroyer Arrows. 50. What do you have? I don't even know, 46 pounds or something. Yeah, this is what happens, of course, obviously. You need to really fix it somewhere on the ground. Stay with me. I might do it, but I'm lazy and it's cold and I only shall show this target, so what? But of course, it could run away still. No, not anymore. <laughs> 17 centimeter target, 45, 6 pound, and I don't know, 500 grain roughly. Penetration power is already there, so you shoot already through it. With my 20 pound bow, I did not shoot through it. And of course, you want to know. <laughs> you want to know what 60 pounds and 1,000 grain will do to this nice poor squirrel. Let's find out. I think it's dead. I shoot one more. I didn't hit the center kill. I'm such a bad shot today. But you know, I have a problem with squirrels. So sometimes I don't get the ring right and then the string is hurting. Oh. And you see a little bit of penetration power, obviously. So the fun of it is now, of course, if you have some forest, but of course always be safe. Like before you go roving and stump shooting, you take this with you. Like this, huh? let's see if we still see it. <laughs> oh yes, there is the squirrel hunter. Ooh, headshot. That squirrel is not dead, so an ethical kill. We, it's a lot of fun. Ooh, even if it's only 2D, not 3D, but you know. You pay 60 euros instead of, how much would this be in 3D? 300, 400, so that's why 
I think it's worth it. I think I challenge myself now a little too much. Usually squirrels are in the tree, as you see over there, and you hide behind these bushes. Now I need to find a gap through it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. And see, with this 20 pound bow, it's not so dangerous and devastating. I would consider this already the maximum squirrel hunting distance. It's 15 meters or something. Let's see, my meter squirrel is quite big. But even with a 22 pounder, no problem. Oh, leg shot. See, and you see the distance? The arrows drop a little. <laughs> So what can I say? It's a lot of fun. As you can see, you can place this thing everywhere with not too heavy bows. It's, it might be, look at with a 20 pound. It's this penetration, so your target will last a while. Just fine for the kids and for every day having fun in the garden or in a nearby forest. Not bad, and when you consider the price, it's 70 euros with shipping in Austria, Germany, Poland, 75 in Europe. It's fun. So look for something for Christmas for your kids with the bow. Huh? You might consider this. So again, thank you, Family Boga, for giving this to me. I was really happy to have it. But I said for me it was too cute to shoot, but of course I had to now. Don't shoot a manju bow with it. It's <laughs> but it's fun. So. Multi-purpose, you can, if you leave it on the ground, maybe mount it something with a, with a peg or something, because it's a little skippy here, it's a little back weight. But for the rest, you simply take it, put it somewhere between the trees, and you can really have fun with it. Thank you very much, Family Boga. Thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one.